We've just fixed this 32PF5522 DTAS05, so I'm going to show how I uh, diagnosed the problem with the help of a friend. Basically, uh, this TV was completely dead. Uh, absolutely no sign of power, no power LED. Um, so the first check was among these connectors here. And I'm getting absolutely no output voltage, no standby voltage. So it's a good clue the problem's on the power supply. So what I did is I probed the uh, cathode of that diode, uh, sorry, the anode of that diode. And um, I'll just plug it in now. Now, since, since I've just fixed it, um, it will appear differently. But basically what I was seeing, instead of that waveform, I was seeing pulses every so often. Um, and so that told me that we were getting secondary voltage, but it was um, either overloaded or it's a problem with a startup cap. So I got testing some things, um, and I found this diode was shorted. So I uh, pulled it out, tested it out circuit, and it still appeared shorted. So I rescued a diode from another board, uh, put it in there, and it's now working perfectly. So this was a nice and easy fix. Um, the original diode did not have any thermal paste on it. And this new one does. So this should improve the reliability, though it's only for the 5 volt standby circuit, we shouldn't be drawing that much power. Plug in. And we can see it's now working. So that was a nice, easy fix in the end. Also, I've noticed this power supply entirely uses Rubicon caps, so it's very well built. It's just a shame they didn't put any thermal paste on there, which is probably what caused it to fail.